31 days ago, I signed up for the, the Strata Easel 31 Day Challenge, Painting Challenge. That's where you paint from life every single day for 31 days in the month of January 2018. When I started it, I thought, wow, this is nice. I've cleared out the calendar. I've got nothing on the books. I've got plenty of time. I can do this. It was anything but. I was hoping to use the, the 31 day Strata challenge to, to develop my painting technique. I've not done much painting from life other than plein air painting, mostly uh, landscape painting. And to me, landscape painting is almost like abstract painting because <laughs> you, can, you can suggest so much with a brush stroke, a tree, a plant, a mountain, a sky, a cloud. It's fairly easy to do. Well, I shouldn't say it's easy to do, but it is easier to do than say, you got an apple on a table. Now that, that's hard. And so I had intended to develop my technique I wanted to learn how to draw, to design, mix colors. I had a lot of objectives. Maybe I had too many for this challenge, but that's what I started off with. 31 days of developing my technique. It turned into mainly an exercise of endurance and perseverance. It started off easy, easily enough. I, you know, I didn't create a very good painting on my first day, but hey, it was the first still life that I'd ever painted in my life. So it was, that was a cool experience. I enjoyed that. Uh, each following day for the next two or three days uh, went well, but then my father ended up in the hospital. He's okay, but uh, at the time we didn't really know what was going on and I was having to drive uh, uh, a good, good distance away from my home. It pretty much took every single day to do this. And uh, I just didn't think, wow, would I be able to, to paint? But I'd come home. Sometimes it would take three and a half, four hours to get home from the hospital. And then uh, it'd be late. My wife would encourage me, which I appreciate, to go ahead and paint. But then after that, my dad got out of the hospital. My wife and I both came down with the flu. I'm not talking about a cold. I have, a, you know, I have some friends, they'll, they'll, they'll get a cold and they say they got the flu. They're, they don't have the flu. They got a cold. A cold is not the flu. <laughs> it's just, I, I guess I just want to make it sound like it's more dramatic than what it really is. And I probably have not had the flu in probably 30 years. But uh, when the flu comes on, it hits you hard, it hits you fast, and it is a miserable experience. And this particular flu, the H3N2, is killing people, which is very sad. Um, <laughs> And it was just, it, it was a nightmare. I didn't think I could get through this thing. I'm still, I'm still, both my wife and I are still recovering from the effects of that flu. So essentially what happened with the uh, 31 day challenge is it, it became, like I said at the beginning, uh, a, a matter of <laughs> perseverance and endurance. Uh, I was just too tired, too weak to even think about technique. I tried. You know, and, and did, I, did I learn from this experience? Yes, I, I think my drawing skills slowly, well, who am I kidding? I, <laughs> I, I, I'm at the very beginning stages of learning how to paint, even though I've dabbled in it for a number of years. You know, you, know, you paint a little bit and then weeks or months go by. You can't learn a skill doing that. So uh, spending 31 days of, of handling a brush, drawing on the canvas or a panel board and, and mixing colors. That's how you learn. So did I learn? Yes, I think I did. I do a great job with these paintings. No, they're not, <laughs> they're not gallery worthy. Uh, they might be one or two that, you know, I liked. I've had a, you know, and of course your friends are always kind and say, oh yeah, I like this one and this one and this one. But uh, the reality of it is they're not very good. But I did learn, you know, I did learn, uh, I learned a lot about how paint handles, how to mix colors. Uh, you know, I was, I, I got better at drawing. I still got a long ways to go on that, but uh, overall, was the experience worth it? Yeah, yeah. I'd do it, you know, <laughs> I'd do it again, not anytime soon. <laughs> but, but I would do it again. I did learn. And uh, when I looked at all the, I followed the hashtag, 
uh, uh, Strata Easel, and there were so many artists that did such an incredible job. They were really good. I, I was, I am nowhere near their skill level. Now I know you're not supposed to compare yourself, but you do. You do. You've got to have a goal, a milepost to say, this is where I need to be quality-wise. I think all too often we are not aware of just how incompetent we are. <laughs> you know, I've seen, and I do. I see a lot of artists that post things out there, and they think it's great. I'm thinking, well, I don't know. I mean, I look at mine and I say, no, I don't know. It's not. It's not that great. So you, you got to be aware of being uh, where you are. You've got to have a critical eye, and and you know, people will make the comment, well, you know, you're your own worst critic. Uh, no, I don't think that's true. I don't think most people are their worst critic. I think most people are highly optimistic about what they do, <laughs> and that's not me. I, 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 I recognize when I look at my work that there are things that are missing that I need to develop. So when I look at another artist, you know, I'm not comparing for competition's sake or or to, to make myself feel bad or feel good one way or the other. I'm looking to see, okay, what is the, this is the milestone. This is the milepost I need to attain when it comes to, um, to, my, to the quality of my art. So that's my goal this year is to improve the quality of my art. And the only way you can do that is to do, right? Very grateful to Strata Easel for sponsoring this, this event. Uh, you know, there is a bit of an incentive. Anyone that finished the 31 days was entered into a contest to win a uh, Strata easel. But, you know, the chances of anyone, any one person winning that is, is pretty low, right? The real win is developing the skills, uh, getting better. I've got 31 9 by 12 inch oil paintings out there, um, which, which, help me to advance as an artist. And that's what this, this is what uh, I'm doing these videos for. This is why I want to be a better painter. I want to learn how to paint. So, so uh, having this opportunity was great. So whether I win the, the Strata easel or not, doesn't matter. What I won was the marathon, 31 day marathon. Got through it despite all the obstacles that life put before me. So I'm grateful for that. And I'm really uh, proud of all the other artists that participated. Like I said, they were they're a milestone to reach for, and I hope someday, uh, maybe uh, sooner rather than later, <laughs> but I hope someday to match their quality, and I appreciate them for, for, for doing that. Well, that's it from my, my studio today. Go out there and create something amazing. See, I keep wanting to look at the monitor so you see what my eyes are doing. And I just can't bring myself to be Casey Neistat and have those big glasses because that's just not me. So here, I'm looking at the lens right now. There we go. And see, I keep slapping my, my legs like that, which is very annoying. I remember when I used to shoot a lot of video, people would do that. They'd be clapping and tapping and you'd have to remind them not to do that and oh there's no one here to remind me except me right <laughs> <laughs>